Hi, writers. How are you today? Um, I thought that where we're at the end of the year, um, one thing I know that I have always loved in the past is when I get a letter from an incoming student, meaning the kids that I'll have the next year, and that they tell me a little bit about themselves. Um, it helps me get to know who they are and what they like to do. Um, and so it makes that first bit of school a little bit easier because I already know a little bit about them. So I wanted to show you guys today how to write a letter um, to your second grade teacher. So let me show you my screen. Um, we can use, um, this is the uh, letter format paper that Mrs. Cannon shared with us last week. If you don't have this paper or a way to print it, that's totally fine. I normally just write letters either on like if I have just like a blank card um, or just any piece of lined paper I have. And I was thinking even your um, writing journal is a great place to write a letter because um, then you could also draw a picture of yourself up in that box above. Um, so you would just start the letter down below. You could draw a picture up above, and then if you need to go into the back, you can. Um, and I bet with the help of somebody at home, you could tear that page out um, so that you could give it um, delivered at school, okay? So when we have our letter, um, we're gonna write to our second grade teachers, and we always wanna think about, okay, here's my audience, right? The audience is who I'm writing to. Now, in the body of the letter, what's my message? What is it that I want to say to them? So for us, I had shared this page with you last week, um, sort of as a brainstorming idea. You don't have to answer all of these questions, but sometimes it's good to think about who you are so you know what you want to tell someone else. Um, you know, there are certain things that we definitely want to be um, included in your letter, like your name is definitely going to be there at the bottom. You could certainly include your age or your birthday, maybe especially I'm thinking about my summer birthdays. Maybe you're someone who wants to tell your teacher that you just had a birthday or you're looking forward to your birthday. Um, I'm thinking about like Praduta, right? Like your birthday's in September. So maybe wanting to share, oh, my birthday's gonna be right when we get back in school, something like that. Um, so this is sort of like information that would be great for the body of the letter, but you don't wanna share all of it because you don't wanna list like everything about us. So maybe pick like one thing to share, two, maybe three at the most um, so that it's not too, too long. But you could share your birthday hobbies, right? Hobbies are things we like to do. Um, what you think you want to be when you grow up. That might be a nice thing to share so they can sort of know like what your, what your passion is, what you're feeling excited about. Um, and then your favorites, right? So subject is like reading, writing, math, foundations, art, computer, library, any of those. Your favorite color, your favorite food or candy. Um, do you like chips or do you have a favorite animal or sport? Um, a favorite type of music, a favorite song, movie, or book. So maybe choose like one to three of those that you'd like to share, and then we'll put them together into this piece over here. I use this letter format paper just because I had it um, on my computer already. But here in this box, I put down some things that we definitely want to share with them, right? So the, the purpose of this letter, right, the reason we're writing it is to help the second grade teachers get to know you. And so they want to get to know you as a person, but they also want to get to know you as a student and you as a learner so that when they meet you in the fall, they're like, oh, okay, um, this is Hassini. She loves to create and, you know, write stories and she's always drawing or building. Um, or, oh, this is Levi. He's an amazing builder with like his Legos and he's super helpful around the classroom. So you want to sort of share bits about yourself so they know who you'll be as a student and who you'll be in their classroom, which makes me sad to say because you won't be in my classroom and that breaks my heart. Um, so some things that we do want to share are um, something maybe that you're looking forward to about summer. Um, maybe you're looking for, I know it's kind of a weird summer, right? But maybe you still have maybe family who's going to come visit, or maybe you guys have decided you're still going to take a trip to visit family or to do something like that. Um, or just generally something that you like or like to do. So that's for that previous page. These would all be things that you like. So this is where you could share something that you like here, or maybe it's like an activity like Legos or riding your bike or looking for bugs or drawing. Those would be hobbies. Um, we also want to share something that we like about school, right? They, it's, it's important for teachers to know like, oh, so-and-so like really likes math. That's good to know. Um, and something we're maybe worried about if there's something that you're feeling worried about. This has been a very bizarre, I know it's only your, most of you, it's only your second year like really in school. Um, but this has been a very, very weird um, 
spring. It's not something any of us have ever experienced before. So I know for me, I have like a whole list of things I'm worried about for next year. So maybe you do too. So here, let's write my letter together. Um, I'm gonna cover part of this up just so we can, oops, that's not gonna help me. There we go, that way we're just focusing on one chunk at a time. So up top I have the date, today's June 1st, 2020. It says, dear second graders, I hope you're having a good summer. I am looking forward to, okay, so what's something I'm looking forward to? Well, one thing I'm looking forward to, I think is, um, oh, that the beaches are reopening at least for going for walks. Like if you go surfing or things like that, you can now do that. So I'm looking forward to be able to go for a walk on the beach. Um, and I'm also looking forward to, um, oh, like having a cookout. I'd love to have a cookout, even if it's just like my mom who comes over or my sister. Um, so I'm going to say, I am looking forward to taking a walk on the beach soon. I also love to have, let me scoop this down a little bit. Oops, I'm going to have to move all of these, aren't I? I also love to have cookouts with my family. Okay. Now, those are two things about me. I think that helps show I like to be outside. I like to move around and go to the beach, but also my family's important to me. Now, the next section is one thing I like about school. Let me again shift these down a little bit. Oops. Okay. One thing I really like about school is, hmm, there's so many things I like about school. Well, one thing I was sharing in the morning message with you guys today, one thing I really like about school is um, getting to read books aloud to you and talking about books. So one thing I really like about school is reading books. I love talking about um, like the characters and what's going on. I will say I love that sort of, I'll call that the story. I love talking about the story as we read. Think about when you guys like share stuff with me, okay? Um, and then maybe something I'm worried about. Like I told you guys, I have a lot of worries um, for next year. Um, I have a lot of things where I'm like, how's this gonna go? Oh man, how's that gonna go? Um, it's been so long since I've been in the building. So one thing I'm worried about is um, like remembering how it go, like how school goes, remembering like routines. Like, okay, so I hang my stuff up and, how does morning meeting go? And maybe that sounds silly because I'm a teacher, but it's been a long time since we've done this. So I'm a little worried that next year I won't remember how our days go. I'm also nervous about meeting new people. So those are some things that I'm worried about. And then I chose this sort of closing. It's just this one last sentence. I just wrote, I'll see you in September. I thought that was a nice kind of just closing, like let them know, put an exclamation point at the end. Like I am excited to meet you. Um, I'm just nervous about it. So I'll see you in September. And then my closing down here from, and then my name, Erin Joyce. Okay. So first graders, what I would like you today to do today is to try to write, if you're up for it, um, write a letter to the second grade teachers. And again, we're just titling it Dear Second Grade Teachers because we don't know um, who you'll have. Um, and I'm just highlighting here the sentence starters that I think you guys could use. Um, your words will sound different than mine, but this part of it might sound really similar to me. So I'm just putting those in blue. Um, and you, like I said, can feel free to add a few more things. Whoops. Um, you could feel free to add a few more things about yourself if you can fit it. But with a letter, we never want it to be too, too long. Okay. 
Um, and then when you're done with it, next week, um, once school is over, there's going to be a day where you can go drop things back off at school. And I would encourage you to drop this letter off then, and it will get to me, and I'll get it to your teachers. And you can drop it off just as this, or if you have an envelope at home and you can fold it and put it in there, um, you could do that as well. And you can fold it and put it in your envelope, and then I'll get it to them that way. Okay? All right, writers, um, have a great morning. Good luck with this if you'd like to. Um, you can always um, email it to me too and I can get it to them that way. All right, I'll see you soon. Love you lots.